sweet sticky rice with mango. And we made mango coconut rice pudding. And they were both really good. The kids like them. Happy, happy. Okay. Combine the rice with and water in a saucepan. Bring it to a boil. Cover and reduce heat low simmer until water is as bored. 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, this is careful. One. Whoa. One more. Uh. Ah. Whoa. Oh. So we are gonna be peeling huh? mangoes for this. Turn out to get cut. Oh yeah, four. Now but this it. mango is riper than the others. Look at the color, compare yep. the color. Which one's riper? That, that one. one. into the coconut milk mixture. Cover it and allow the cold for an hour. You're gonna cut right there. Why? Because you're gonna try to avoid the pit. You're trying to avoid the pit. You've turned pit. it this way, right? To the yep. tallest. Carter, you have to turn your mango to, to make it tall. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna make it as tall oh. as it can go. constantly for one minute.
you toast the sesame seeds? For about four or five minutes, let me show you. And wait. Put one tablespoon of sesame seeds on the sheet, and then you will toast them to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Five minutes. Thank you. A sauce by mixing oh. together one cup of coconut milk. Okay, so one half cup. One half cup of coconut milk. Pour over it. If you get a little bit too much, it'll be fine. It's just tapioca starch. It's tapioca. A little bit more. What? It's a thickener. See that? Yeah, it's fine. In a saucepan, bring to a boil. the ginger and I thought the one with the ginger was awesome and the one with the sauce that was the kids favorite we made a mistake today we were supposed to put the one mango with one dish and one mango with the other so the cubed mango was supposed to be in the pudding and the sliced mango was supposed to be plated with the one with the sauce but they were both I thought they were both really good and it really didn't matter in the end it would be nice to have some more mango for the one with the sauce Traditional sticky rice uses an actual rice called sticky rice, but we didn't have that and the recipe didn't call for that. It was one that you would use normal white rice with. So if you want an authentic sticky rice, you would use that and steam it. Good. 